and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Demir control for the standard 2020 event. This is an event that's on Arena from now until rotation, which is on the 26th of September, so about two and a half weeks, where you can only play with cards that are not going to be rotating out uh, from standard whenever Throne of Eldraine releases. So you're looking at only cards from Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, War of the Spark, and Corset 2020. And because of that, they named it Standard 2020. So uh, about the event, it's free. You, uh, anybody can play. They have regular and ranked. So if you want to play ranked, uh, you can do that as well. Or if you want to play unranked, you can. Either way, uh, we'll be playing ranked here today. And um, the the other thing about it is it's only best of one. So there's no sideboards. And so best of one usually um, rewards you for being uh, pretty linear. Uh, you want to be like you know usually pretty aggressive. And everything like that because uh, there's just the one game you want to be on the on the play and get ahead and and win that game however we're, we're trying some some different stuff um if you do like the aggro decks I, on my stream decker page which is streamdecker.com slash decks slash todd stevens mtg um, or you can find it through the link to this deck list that will be on the in the youtube description um then uh if you do like the aggressive decks, I do have a, a mono red cavalcade deck list there uh, that I recommend for using the event if you're just trying to to play uh, as many games as possible. Because the reward with this event is if you anytime you win two games in a row, you get 200 experience. So if you're trying to level up your mastery pass and stuff, every two two t any, every time you get two wins in a row, you get 200 experience. So if you want to do that quickly, there's that aggro deck. Also, the Chandra Tribal we just played looked pretty good, so I recommend checking that one out also. But we're, what we're playing here is a control deck where we're trying to beat the aggro decks. You can tell with all of this removal, you know, these Legions and Tyrant Scorn, Disfigure, uh, main deck Cryler Carnarium, Ritual of Soot, three Enter the God Eternals. You know, like we are just trying to, to beat the aggro decks here. And then uh, hold on with the help of uh, Kefnet, that can do some blocking, do some attacking, and then have Narset for our card advantage, uh, getting us to these big Planeswalkers. So that's what our deck's all about. We'll see how it does here in the best of one format. Um, but there we go. This this was a pretty impressive rotation-proof deck that we played before. But let's see how it does in best of one. I haven't... All right, so we're doing ranked standard 2020. To be honest, I haven't played against as much mono-red aggro as I would expect so far but we'll see if that changes here <laughs> yeah maybe we'll play against a lot of Chandra travel now anyway uh so a couple of questions here uh no you don't need a license for a cat um here in this as far as no there's no license for a cat um and then when do i upload to the youtube channel immediately so whenever i get done with the league it takes about um 30 to 60 minutes usually like around like 45 or so for it to upload, depending on how long the, the video was. Um, like the Chandra Tribal that we just got done playing, I started that one right away. It's around 15, 20 minutes left before it gets uploaded. So it was a shorter video. You played against exactly one Cavalcade red deck today in about 20 matches. Yeah, I was expecting to, to play against a lot more. We, I only played against one mono red aggro so far, I think. And I don't think they had Cavalcade. They were like... Uh, going... Bigger than that. Ooh, do I just want a Dismal Backwater? Maybe I do. I was planning on discovering this, this turn. But I think we just want a Dismal Backwater where we have Cry into Kefnet or Cry into Soot. Are there stuff to click on this Eldrain board? So it looks like Teamer Elementals. Pretty obviously. Hmm. 
No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, that's a misclick. Ugh. I was going to cast Discovery first and just see what happened with Discovery. And then score in the Risen Reef. Ugh. Well, I guess... Okay. It's not going to work out so bad for us, honestly. They get the extra trigger here. But now Ritual Soot kills both of them. So that's, so that's honestly just fine for us. So this actually kind of worked out better. Maybe. Better it. Yeah. Yeah, because we get Kefnet in play. Oh, no. They're Field of the Dead. Do I need to hold on to... Yeah, I want to reveal the Swamp. How many times do you get to reveal Swamps? What's up, Star? So now do I need to hold Ritual of Soot for Field of the Dead? So they're not Elementals. Not likely Elementals. Mind and body. Put thoughtfulness before action. All right, saving Ritual of Soot for this next turn. I'm not expecting another elemental here. Could be wrong. Could have another elemental. I'm not expecting one. Get out of my way. I'm burning up here. All right, well, it wasn't another elemental. Chandra is trouble, though. Cause yeah, we don't we don't have like removal for Chandra. Yeah, I'm playing in the standard 2020 with a event. Fury will only lead you astray. So they had no lands. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. Uh, this is the anti-control deck here. Best of one with Agent of Treachery. <laughs> All right, they got me. <laughs> that is the anti-control deck right there. And I felt like I felt like our Sultai lands deck was too slow. But we were not playing that kind of top end. Uh, no, you can't, no. Agent just gets you. The best card that we could have against Agent of Treachery, I mean, we could have on more egos and stuff, but Disdainful Stroke is really the answer there. But I don't, I don't even know if, I don't know if Disdainful Stroke is still going to be in the format or not. I don't know if it's rotating out or not. I think, I think it was in Guilds of Ravnica. I think. Did I do wrong deck? Oh, did I do wrong deck? Ah, uh, played Chandra. Darn it. This is the problem with one one match, and then you have to do a new one. No, I'm not. I'm not playing it out. No, I didn't. I didn't play the mono red cavalcade. Um, that's I. I played it like regular style, like a regular league with the, with the deck.
Uh, just makes you keep them all. I wonder what happened with that. All right, let's see if we can Demir Control. We're now on that deck. Yes, you can find all the, the deck lists on the Stream Decker page there. That's where you can find them right there. Well, that was unfortunate. Not a great start. We played against like the best anti-control deck and best of one. And then I chose the wrong deck, so got an auto loss. Oh, I don't have two black. I feel like they're going to make the goblin a 2-2. Two -two. That's good. <clears throat> so we can have cry this next turn. Nope, or they did not make the goblin a 2 2. Draw a spell, draw a spell. Spell, let me negate it. Now play a Domri. Domri. Uh, they didn't play Domri. All right, we're trying to stay alive. Gross. They did draw a spell. Well, GG's. It's the thing about best of one, it's, it's usually easier to be really proactive. All right, let's see if we can choose the correct deck this time I mean I, I should I should not have kept the cry the Carnarium without the land I guess because um, then I I had to cast discovery on turn three instead of thought erasure and you know if we cast the thought erasure we take that 2-2 goblin so we wouldn't have taken that four damage from that thing Oh, awesome, Chalupa. Good job. Win 8-1 with the Chandra Tribal. Good job. My favorite Eldraine card from today? Well, the best one is, is definitely the Questing Beast. That card is incredible. Um, I guess that may be my favorite one, too. I mean, I like green creatures. And that's, that's the one I'm going to play the most. Ember Cleave's kind of underrated. Yeah, maybe I need another sit in this deck.
Honestly, should I just kill the Spectral Sailor? The Spectral Sailor would draw him cards. I know the Cutthroat kills me faster, but... Those extra cards from Sailor are... Really nice. I don't know. I'll go. I'll go cutthroat, but I may regret it. Hey, disposable hero. All right. I don't regret it because I had to back up Sailor. But yeah, this is pretty rough. Uh, they should not be just drawing during their main phase, though. Oh, uh, decline. Now I have another card to choose from. Drawn from Dreams. Um, that's a really nice reveal <laughs> that we we're about to have there. Yeah, two mana, two mana Dreams. It's just a copy. So like, if they found a counter spell, they only counter the copy of the card and not the actual card. Well, here I'm. I'm glad. I'm glad the internet is back. I'm glad it sounds like you're. You know, you're safe and sound, and everything is okay. Because yeah, hurricanes are. Nothing to um, nothing to yeah, like that's that's definitely a huge worry. Like that's nothing to take lightly. There you go, Madgrath, you're six oh with the cavalcade list. Love it, yeah. Both those mono red decks are really good. Cavalcade and Chandra Tribal. I think those are two that I'd recommend the most for just wins and everything, but you know, we're playing something a little different here. <laughs> Dismal B. Look at this land. The old Dismal B. I guess I'm going to have to call this, this land the Dismal B from now on. <laughs> Dismal B. There he goes, right in your wheel, your aggro wheelhouse. I like it. That is his rap. The <laughs> the rap name Dismal B. Yeah, these. These swamps, or yeah, these swamps and and uh, islands were from one of the events that they had for a weekend, uh, where you could get the Mirage Lands. I don't remember the exact event. The focused and disciplined. Yeah, they're a really no good swamp. Meditate and prepare. I just keep neg negate available. This one looks real good for us. I wouldn't be too surprised if they just want to activate Sailor again, and just be like, "All right, these cards, these creatures are dying to cry the Carnarium."
that makes sense. Try to do that to save the creatures, it makes sense. Hone your prowess. So if they have a, another flash, one drop, they can kill Narset. But I'm fine with that. Uh, yes, please. All right, two and two. There we go, facing some small creature decks where our removal is doing very well. We're dropping Kefnet kind of early. Our deck's doing its thing. <laughs> Fish through time. Hey, Fairmount, welcome back. Yeah. Yeah, I, I am. Ex I am glad. I, I am liking that there is an artifact focus uh, in the next set because yeah, I think that four mana Karn could be pretty fun with with uh, a good amount of artifacts. So yeah, I like that. Four mana Karn is good in this kind of event where it just gives you access to having a sideboard in in a best of one. Um, you know, it's really that's really powerful, but there's just not enough good artifacts right now especially especially out of like the ones that are returning uh i don't want to put that in my graveyard all right so i'm not we need Discovery to hit land drops for us. Land. No, yeah, we're, we're just getting like the, some of the previews right now, but no, the full set's not revealed. It won't be revealed until um, probably not this Friday, but next Friday would be my guess. Is when we'll have the entire set. The card that has me the most excited is probably Gilded Goose. I like mana creatures a lot. So that's probably the card if I had to say like which one's the most exciting for me, excited about him. Keep an open mind. I am glad there's the Gilded Goose. I feel like I should have. All right. I, should, I feel like maybe I should have taken a gate there, but if like our our goal is to play Ugin, like we're still gonna have to tap. Like we're still gonna tap out to play Ugin. So if they had the removal, they'll ha they'll have like a turn to have it. Um, but maybe it's better just, and maybe instead of the Thought Razor first, since we know their hand is basically all dead, that then the. Um, keep then maybe instead I should have just had um, the negate afterwards <laughs> yeah the Chandra tribal combo yeah you get 20 haste damage if you get if you get the, the combo there I think maybe yeah like this is kind of like you know these ones are going fast because you know it's best of one I think maybe I'll play the mono red cavalcade deck also. I know a lot of people asking about that deck. I think I'm going to play that deck too. 
tonight. These are going fast. <laughs> wow. That's a gnar set of gnar sets. Hmm. Well. Yeah, so Dovin is either Narset or Mu Yanling. Dar Dovin doesn't matter. <clears throat> I know Dovin can. Uh, um, a typhoon begins with a single raindrop. Can minus on this Kefnet, but uh, Dovin doesn't really matter. Bow to the howling wind. <laughs> okay, I saw the Kefnet animation and decided to rise up as well. There's no accounting for luck. Maybe so yeah, you can will shut down this Kefnet for a while. Perfection Probably should have been Mu Yanling so as the take. Stop trying. Stick to the sky, my friend. I'm glad they didn't keep ticking up and going for the ultimate, honestly. Because that is scary if they, they would have just go, gone for ultimate with Dovin uh, protecting. Looking to elevate yourself? Perhaps a pair of stilts. <laughs> yeah, old Dismal B on top. Learn some Kill Moo or start making two twos. Truth lies beyond vision. <laughs> so they they missed the land drops. You know they they were casting that chemistry's inside to hit land drops. So now they got a bunch of spells in hand over there when pursuing creativity defy convention do not challenge a raging river I have practiced against many foes like you put thoughtfulness before action So, you know, they can reset the Dovin. 
if they want. They get they get to choose to just bounce any of these, discard a card. But it does just slow them down, you know, like they're And they're only getting the one card. Discovery doesn't do a whole lot with Narset in play, of course. Do you like that this turned out negate now? You like we'll negate Dovin if Dovin comes back. They could just play big Chandra. Now Chandra doesn't get to kill Ugin without you know and stay alive. Meditate and prepare. This is a good game. This could go either way. We got a lot of cards over there. I got some some powerful ones. Yuck. I did I do think that you know looking back at it, my thought erasure was a mistake of not taking Mu Yanling. I'm glad they might have made that four four originally if they didn't do that. I would have been in a lot of trouble. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. So if they kill Ugin, it's gonna Make basically mean room to fight in. I was gonna say that's that would have basically meant um, that their other planeswalkers were gonna die. the howling winds I wish I could play Liliana and have negate back up but I cannot My mind needs a rest. Alright, well, they get to start double spelling with these three mana walkers. They got so many of them. Mobilize District. That card's a pain. I can counter this, right? That card completely shuts down Kafnet so hard. Yeah, I knew I could counter it. I don't know why it wasn't. Letting me. Uh, another one. I know my responsibility. You know, like bouncing Kefnet is, you know, makes Kefnet so slow, and then you know we we can't cast spells that we reveal off Kefnet. I have a card just so good against Kefnet. I know. Newsflash. Teferi's good against something. Here. Putrid, but effective. Secrets manifest before you. I know y'all probably weren't expecting that. Remember a little bit ago when I said these games were going fast? I've got time. <laughs> I regret everything I said.
<laughs> yeah, wow, Teferi's useful for once. Yeah, my last couple opponents were just, like, conceding whenever I would, like, draw a card. They were like, ah, can't handle it. Concede. Many have challenged me over the ages. I don't even know if I can kill my opponent before I deck out. <laughs> before I mill out. <laughs> With all the life they're going to gain from these bacons. Learn some respect. Yes. It's such a hearty breakfast over here. Yeah, there's no no timer in best of one. I don't have the timer there. I wrote an entire treatise on your impending failure. Yeah, maybe cholesterol will get him. Perfection Too much bacon. Is unattainable, so stop trying. Good help is easy to find in war. I wish I had an Elder Spell on my deck to go find. Should Ugin kill one of these things? I'm not killing Dovin. Should I kill Mu Yanling? I know 88 ways to defeat you. Pick one. Hone your prowess. Like that's the real question. Should I kill Mu Yanling? Maybe kill Little Teferi? Actually, maybe we kill Little Teferi. Which I guess I can wait a turn to kill Little Teferi. No, I can't really. If I kill Little Teferi now, I can Kefnet. Do I have to worry about Mu Yanling Ultimate then, I guess? Hmm. Yeah, it's either kill land or play one of these things. Hey, Mr. Marcus Chaos. Thanks for that support. I appreciate that. There we go. Got to 20. Got our second sub goal. Thank you very much. So what the sub goals do, I uh, doubt we're getting to, to the next one, but you know we'll Don't put worry. it up there. I you never this. know. Um, sub goals do is uh, every twenty sub goals total. So if it's one sub goal a day, then it's twenty days. Um, I do a twelve-hour stream to celebrate. I know more than you Been lurking in the YouTube and then a lot here lately. Lifetime. Got some great I deck ideas from you, thanks. Well, thank you. Yeah, well, thank you. Glad to have you here. Also, this month, I guess I haven't really uh, mentioned like this, but this month account. is September, which means that if uh, subscribing is just is actually half off this month also. So if you want to help support me as somebody who's a full-time streamer, consider I'm subscribing well this month. You get with access to all the really cool emotes that everybody gets to use in chat. I have just the trick for this. Ether itself serves me. So obviously we're killing Ugin, and then we're just gonna do two to Teferi. So Teferi doesn't get to minus. This 
I played a land, didn't I? I think I just played a land. No, maybe I didn't. I did not play land. Well, I only have two cards that are worth anything out of those cards anyway. None of those removal spells were anything I wanted. So I'm down to 34 cards. My opponent's at 36 after this minus. Remember, whatever I re if I untap with Kefnet, I can't really reveal anything. Blech. Here goes nothing. So obviously they just time wipe. This isn't your average zombie horse. What a good mindless minion. Truth lies beyond vision. I mean, I guess I just spend the mana and get a new Narset out here. But I don't know if I actually want to minus because of where our Kefnet is. There are so many mysteries to uncover. I think I'll just get it out there. So they're at 35, I'm at 33. This honestly may be me milling out. We'll see. Okay, probably not. Probably not me milling out anymore. Probably me dying to this Arkin. What know you of dragons? Yep, GG's. Maybe they'll minus Arkin. Oh man, how great would that be? Minus. You. Minus, 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 minus. Darn. Look to the skies. They didn't mine us. Because, yeah, I need the Ugin to kill the Sarkin. Can't be denied. I, I am beaten. But yeah, we talked. We had the question before. I think. I think it was maybe before I started recording. The question was like, "Are planeswalkers going to be a problem for you?" And I was like, "Yeah, they probably are, but there aren't many planeswalker decks around." I'd be less frustrated. If but yeah, I don't. I don't have Elder Spell in this best of one format, and so I don't have. I don't really have any planeswalker removal. To be honest. All right, so I need to find Thought Erasure. We've only seen one Thought Erasure so far. All right, so sorry, Kefnet. You gotta go. We gotta find Thought Erasure. Meditate and prepare. Okay, that doesn't do anything because they have to ferry. Well, that's cool.
Watch this! These results are an anomaly not to be repeated. Hmm. Man, I wish the fairy wasn't a card. Don't really have anything good to do to go anything good to go get even. I, it was a while ago now. I completely forgot about my opponent playing that time wipe. That time wipe really wrecked us before. Yeah, our negate doesn't do anything because of this Teferi. So, like, the dispersal, like, I kind of wanted to wait on dispersal until I, like, maybe the next turn I could I could draw a discard spell and, you know, could dis dispersal Sark and then discard spell. But I don't have the mana to play... Well, I guess I guess with the Dovin out of there, maybe I did have the mana. So like three for Narset, five for Dispersal, yeah, you. and Discard Spell. Yeah, I guess we could have. So maybe I should have waited on the Dispersal. This does incentivize my opponent to use their Teferi up to get rid of a 4-4. Four -four. That's how company. it was meant to happen. How are we doing on discovery dispersals? We've seen three of the four. There's one left. We're basically out of good cards, honestly. Our opponent has this one. Unless we're, like, really lucky. We have to find, like, our one more dispersal to get rid of Sarkin. But, like, all of our, our top end planeswalkers are gone. I have, like, the three Kefnets left in the deck as, like, threats still in my deck, basically. And the Enter the God Eternals, I suppose. Yeah, this is best of one. This has been an incredibly long best of one game. It's us or them. I hope you choose the right side. That's more like it. Join my cause. Shonda Tribal was good. Yeah, it was good. I felt like we got pretty unlucky with that loss. Our opponent couldn't stop ripping haste creatures. Darn it. Should have waited with that dispersal. If you wish to summon home your prowess. Ugh, cost so much mana. Darn, that was a terrible mill over for us. Ugh. 
Wish Kasmina didn't make that cost so much mana. We don't, we're not, like, we have seven total walkers, so it's not, it's not really worst case you blow up your weak walkers to make your good one ult. That's not worst case. Listen, come on. That's a scenario where you have two planeswalkers in play. Most all the games with this deck, like, we're trying to survive an aggro deck, and we just have, like, a, a dead elder spell. We're, worst case is it, it's a blank card while our opponent's, you know, playing creatures that kill us. Yeah, our opponent is really slow. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, dinner and piano practice in the time of this one match. Yeah, this game has been so long. Our opponent's taken forever. I must train harder. I would I definitely not play a few elder spell. I could get talked into the first elder spell. I could get talked into playing one. Because this is, you know, a problem. These kind of decks. I could, I could get talked into playing one, but we're not playing a few. In best of one. And future are bound by threads of time. So they have seven less cards than I do. Fortunately, the, the Narset minus should hit something good. I mean... And of course, they got these other insights and everything over here. This is going to be really tough to win. If for some how if somehow they brick and we get to actually attack and kill Sarkin, I will like our chances. But I can't imagine they're gonna brick. Nope, that's not a brick. Yeah, I'd like to have Murderous Rider. That'd be nice. Stand by and watch. Here we go. I mean, I've had Noxious Grasp in this deck before, but I just felt like there was too much mono red to be playing Noxious Grasp. But like best of three, I had, I had Noxious Grasp in the main deck. Perfect. That's a great card. That's honestly a great card. Because that kills Sarkin. My prowess is on my keep an open mind. There's yeah, there's no clock in best of one. Come to me. They don't have a clock. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, send them both over there. We still have much to learn. No, not mobilized district. Ugh. Mobilized district, you're a problem.
So, I mean, I have to trade both of my creatures for the Mobilized District and Narset. Which I guess that's worth it. Yeah, I honestly don't know if I can even, like, kill my opponent before we're out of cards. I'm at 25 cards left. They're at 15 cards left. This is my last dispersal, my last Planeswalker removal spell. So if I if I cast Discovery here and look for Kefnet, I have no more Planeswalker removal. I basically have like nothing but Kefnets and like crappy spells in my in my deck left. We do have the negate though for the first good planeswalker. All right, we found Kafnet. I think I have I think I have one I think I have one enter the god eternals left to help mill my opponent also. I only see two here. I think I've only killed two Sarkins. Yeah, we've gone through two Sarkins. Alright, I guess I don't reveal that. Do I have an... Is my other negate in the yard or it's in my deck? Okay, no, it's in the yard. Love it. Here's my mill card. No them out. They're down to eight. Before they kill my creatures and I can't target anything anymore. This grows. That doesn't die. All right, we turbo milled them. Eight cards. We got rid of two Sarkins. That should be it. They're down to three cards. Demir Mill for the win. Yeah, you can have that. Resolve. Bataro with the Twitch Prime Prepare sub for this awesome game. Thank you so much there, Bataro. We did it. My Legion's End looks pretty good against the Healy. That's their last three mana to Fairy. Oh no, there's a Chandra. Uh, can't negate that one. Well. All right, that gets rid of Kefnet. This quick. I've got other things to burn. <laughs> I don't know if they can give me enough emblems, though. Hope it's not too hot for you. To kill me before they draw their three cards, dude. What if because it's best of one? What if my opponent just goes like clear the mind, shuffle that all back? That would be sick. What if, like, next turn, next turn they have Clear the Mind plus Dovin's Veto? Choco the Bird, three months is a lot. Hey, Thank you so much for that three month resub. We did it. And y'all said that the, the Planeswalkers would be a problem. It wasn't a problem. Easy game.
We just milled. Good thing we milled 16 cards with the Enter the God Eternals. Because otherwise, it would be like even. Basically. All right, good form. I like it. It's more like a Clary off than Clary on, but you know, we'll take it. <laughs> yeah, at the beginning of the match, I was like, you know what? I'll probably play the model red cavalcade because we got we got enough time. Like these, the whole like playing like six seven way. matches takes like an hour. Up here. But now, now we're already like back to like ten o'clock almost. This match. This match took up like the whole league. I've got a burning desire to finish you. So yeah, they had they had two Sarkins and two Chandras down like at the bottom of their library. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Like probably like the bottom like eight cards. Definitely under ten cards. At the bottom seven, eight cards or so were two Sarkins, two Chandras. Out of fuel. I'm not taking a damage. We can't afford it. No, twenty. Yeah, I mean, that was just really unlucky, Dr. K. 25 lands is not too many for that Chandra deck. I would... I, I kind of want to play 26, but the problem is I just want to play all those cards in the deck. But I'd I rather I'd rather have 26 lands than 25. But I just want all 35 of those cards. And so I'm stuck playing 25 lands. But you, you got to hit your land drops with that deck. So that's Demir Control. Ended up with a 4-2. Pretty good showing there. Ended up with the 4-2. We we finished out that, that league, right? That was the, the last match in that league. Right? Yeah, start. Yeah. Yeah, so we got... Okay. Making sure I, I didn't pay that close atten attention there. But there we go. So, yeah, 4-2 there with Demir Control. Still look pretty good. I mean, this, this has, like, a bunch of good tools against the aggro decks. As we saw there, you know, sometimes they run you over, but, you know, sometimes your Cry of the Carnarium Ritual is at Legion's Ends, like all that kind of stuff lines up, and uh, you get there. Um, I was really glad that we added in the Ugin. That was a card that we, we put in here. Um, basically, over the second Drawn from Dreams, we put an Ugin in, and the Ugin was awesome for us. So I'm really glad we did that. Um, and uh, there we go. All right, so that's um, Standard 2020 with Demir Control. If you're watching later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Also, leave some comments. I love seeing the comments that you guys leave. Uh, but uh, thanks so much for watching Demir Control with the Standard 2020 decks. Oh, also, also yeah, like with the comments, let me know what uh, Standard 2020 decks you're playing. And also let me know if you like these decks, the, the Mono Red Cavalcade. Uh, the Sultai Lands, the Chandra Tribal, the Demir Control, those four decks, those are four that I got up on my Stream Decker page. Again, if you want to, if you want to check, you know, there's obviously you can click on this link if you're watching on YouTube. The down in the description, you can see the the deck list here. Click on the, that deck list, you can get to all my decks from the Stream Decker page. Somehow it's kind of confusing, but uh, if you can't figure that out, it's streamdecker.com/decks/toddstevensmtg. Oh, I think actually just in the oh actually I think I just have a link to. My normal video descriptions have a link to all my decks, so never mind, they're in there. Lifer, thank you so much for that resub. So that was that was a long roundabout way to say just look at the info panel. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching Demir Control. I'll see y'all for the next video.